Hey guys, it's Mark from Migraine Professional. In this video, we're going to be talking about hormones, birth control, and migraines and headaches. And so it's very, very common that when our healthcare provider finds out that we have hormonal migraines, menstrual migraines, hormonal headaches, menstrual headaches, that they will resort to using birth control as the form of supplementing our hormones. And what we really want to understand is that birth control and synthetic hormones are not like our natural hormones. They do not provide the same benefits to our brain as natural hormones do. So we might actually shift our cycle or get rid of our cycle depending on, on what we're getting, which may give us some relief from our migraines, but we're not getting the massive amount of benefit that natural hormones, regulating our hormones naturally does for our brain, our body, our endocrine system, our nervous system, our digestive system, our detox system. And, and so we really wanna be aware that the hormones that are being used on, on birth control, the, the estrogen and the progestin, they are not like our body's natural hormones. And so they come with side effects. They come with potential negative effects. We know that women who use birth control are at much higher risk for, for breast cancer and stroke and a number of other diseases because they deplete hormones as well. So you always wanna to, want to make sure that you're checking for nutrient depletions from any, any hormones that you're taking, any uh, medications that you're taking also. And you want to understand that there's a big difference in, in that you're not getting the same um, benefits throughout your body from those hormones and you're getting added side effects. So you really want to be careful and you want to make sure that you are looking at your cycle as a whole. You're having your whole cycle tested because women will go through a very specific uh, fluctuation in their hormones throughout their menstrual cycle um, based on where their egg is, where their, their uterine lining is, if they're shedding the lining. And this changes the hormones that are secreted, the levels of the hormones in the body and the, the beneficial effects of those hormones. So you want to make sure that you're looking at the whole cycle, you're getting tested, you're getting your whole cycle tested. That's what we do in clinic um, for clients. We, we look at their entire cycle and see how the hormones are fluctuating throughout the cycle. So we understand what is going on. For some people, it might just be that they don't have enough hormones. They might not be producing enough hormones to have a healthy cycle. For some people, it might be that they're, um, they're having um, sort of lack in certain areas of their cycle, they're not they're not getting enough of hormones. They're not getting um, timing issues or are not functioning properly, or that their their ovulation is actually maybe it's too early, maybe it's too late. They're having ovulation timing issues. So there's there's a couple of different reasons why your hormones would be out of whack, and and you always want to make sure that you're looking at at stress factors. We know if you've read my my free e guide on the five mistakes of hormonal migraines you know how much stress and how much um, sort of even total body stress affects our hormones because our hormones will switch from, from our, our sex hormones to our stress hormones. And then this will deplete our, our uh, sex hormone system and it can create a lot of problems. And so you always wanna make sure that you're looking for uh, digestive issues, gastrointestinal issues, because those will create a, a chronic source of inflammation that will um, sort of detract from your hormones and take away from them and, and cause regulation issues. And so that's really, that's what we do in clinic. We, we, take, we take a look at your entire cycle and then we correct it because hormones are, at the end of the day, they're messengers. So if your hormones are being sent from A, they're being sent to C, the hormones are B. So if you're just looking at B, if you're just trying to correct B, you're kind of missing the whole picture. You're, you're missing um, why there are problems sending the hormones and you're missing why there are problems receiving those hormones and using those hormones properly. So you wanna make sure that you're supported in all those ways and it's a really simple way to get rid of those, those nasty, nasty menstrual headaches, uh, hormonal headaches, um, and yeah, so let me know in the comments below, have you ever been um, prescribed or given um, hormonal birth control for your, your migraines or your headaches or um, your cycle in general? And how did it work for you? Did you find a benefit from it? Did you find that you, you had side effects? Um, did you end up with post birth control syndrome, which is the, the 
um, which can be a long lasting set of side effects after the fact of using birth control because of all of the interactions in the body. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Hey, it's Mark from MicroProfessional.com. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe in the bottom left corner. And if you want to learn more about migraines and headaches than you've ever known before, and understand what causes them, what creates them, and what you can do about them, make sure to go to MigraineProfessional.com. Thanks.